This tutorial is about how to connect the camera to DSS-8. Okay, so first, what you need to do, you need to decide whether you want to connect camera to NVR or DSS server directly. So we have two options. If you decide to connect your cameras to DSS-8 server, you need to follow the, those steps. So first of all, go to administration setup, click on devices. Over here you will see the list of the cameras which are already connected to DSS server. Below you can see the list of the cameras which are not connected to DSS server. You can select one or multiple cameras at the same time so it makes easy and fast. Then click on connect. Make sure you got correct password. If the camera was not initialized you can initialize the camera directly from DSS. Once the password is set up click on connect. You see, camera was successfully connected and it should appear on the list uh, in the device configuration. Once you are in the device configuration, new device will be connected and will be listed below. Okay, so what, what is important uh, at the first point while you are setting up, setting up or actually connecting the cameras? First, configure your device. You can set up the image quality you can set up also the video quality, codec, resolution, FPS, and so on, and audio as well. Then, what you can do with the camera, you can set up the intelligent analysis. While talking about the intelligent analysis, you can set up based on your camera model. So, IVS, face recognition, metadata, and so on. Then, you can select, set up the events over here. Various events, such as cameras disconnected, or if you got IBS rules like tripper wire crossed by human and so on and so on. What you need to do while connecting the camera, you need to set up the record plan. So click over here on record plan and choose one which is good for you. You got some templates which are prepaid for, prepared for you. You can create your own template as well. And of course, choose the stream you would like to record and click OK. Once this is uh, successfully done, you will see that camera starts recording. You can choose for how long the camera should be recorded and this uh, can be modified over here. Basically, uh, it's first in, first out. If you want to keep for the recording for a specific period of the time, you can do it over here. For example, regular recording for 14 days and all the alarms and events 60 days. So you can set up those two periods for the recording. Okay, and you are done with the connecting of the camera. If the camera was connected via NVR, you will see the camera over here and you can set up the same thing. You can record the cameras also on NVR and on DSS server at the same time if you wish to have some redundancy. Okay, that's it about the recording. Thank you very much for your attention and please stay tuned.